right with both lungs of the church, the eastern and the western right. So we really want in our liturgy, you might say these two different types of spiritualities to come together. One is um, kind of like, like myself, kind of wild and crazy and charismatic. Hallelujah. And the other is, is very solemn but reverential. We need both. Amen? Yes. Amen. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I don't think so. I think um, <laughs> husband and wife make a perfect marriage. Yes. And we need the Eastern and the Western. We need the charismatic, the joyful. We also need the solemn and the reverential. Amen? Amen. Somehow combined together, which only happens through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. <laughs> He brings them together in a holy, life-giving unity. Now, while I'm waiting for them to bring my owl, I'd like to pray something with you. Okay, how, how much time do we have? Are we in a hurry? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not getting paid any more or any less, so. How about if we pray the chaplet of mercy, at least to begin with? And some of you may have prayed it already, but just in case you didn't, it's very good to pray the chaplet of mercy, and that's very much something like combines the Eastern and the Western spiritualities in that chaplet. And you know, the country, and it seems to me that Seattle and Washington needs mercy. And so we want to pray that God has mercy on the state of Washington and on all of your political leaders. Yes, yes. And perhaps, I don't know the state of the church, but I would say let's pray for all the church leaders as well. Yes. But we, we, want to, we don't want a sappy mercy. You know, the kind that says, oh, it's okay. Sometimes mercy looks like this. <laughs> Amen? Amen. So maybe Washington State needs some of that kind of mercy. Amen? Amen. Amen. But here's St. Augustine maybe said it best. We were made for thee, O God. And our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. Washington was made for God. Yes. It was not made for sin. Yes. Washington was made for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. It was not made for Satan. Yes. So we want to take back Washington for Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. He made this. The Bible says all things were made through Jesus Christ. Yes. And he died for it. He shed his blood for Washington as well. Amen? Amen. So now we need the sanctifier, the Holy Spirit, to sanctify Washington. Yes. The Lord is telling me as I'm here, he tells me that the people in this area are too complacent, he tells me. Complacent, like they're comfortable. They take everything God gives and never say thank you. And this is filthy, and it's irrational, it's ungrateful, it's sinful, it's evil, it's diabolical. To take everything and never say thank you, even a little child knows better than that. Amen? Amen. So we want to pray for mercy over Washington, the government and the church, and over all of us. We would wake up. And if we become nothing else, we must become a people of gratitude. Amen? Amen? If nothing else, we must start becoming grateful. This may be the most beautiful state in the country. It might well be. I mean, it's my first time here, and it is kind of pretty, to be honest with you. <laughs> maybe, it's the most, maybe it's the prettiest one. And so I would think that the prettiest state in the country should be the most grateful. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. And so let's pray for mercy, that God does whatever mercy that the church and the government needs. But let's also pray for the mercy of gratitude. It is a divine mercy to wake up in the morning and to say thank you. That is a mercy to know we owe everything to God. Amen? Amen. So the chaplet of mercy for Washington, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Lord might free us from the spirit of ingratitude throughout Washington and give the spirit of thankfulness. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Now, beloved, I'm going to ask you to leave the second decade, and I'm going to answer you. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of the dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, on Washington and on the whole world. Amen. Amen. Now in the third decade, we're going to continue this, but in a more specific way. We're going to ask our Lord Jesus Christ to free Washington from mortal sin. It is mortal sin that blinds the soul. In mortal sin, you cannot say thank you. We ask God now to free every Washingtonian from mortal sin. Amen? Amen. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Now I want for this fourth decade for all the brothers, the men, would stand with me. Will all the men in the church please stand up with me? All the men. We're going to lead this together. Men are ordained by God to be the protectors of the church and the family. Amen? Amen. Now brothers, I want you to help me to lead this decade. And here's what we're praying for, for an end to abortion. And it should be the men who take the charge in this. How dare we let them kill our babies, anybody's baby. And so we men are going to lead this fourth decade, and women, would you please answer, for a complete end to abortion throughout Washington for a pro-life governor. Amen? Amen. Amen? Brothers, would you lead this with me for an end to abortion? Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And now the men. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Amen. And now with the holy woman in the church, please stand with me. Ladies, when I was a boy, I was taught by my parents that it's the woman who protects chastity. It's the woman who protects purity. I want you to pray with me this last second. First, for all the women and the teenage girls to dress modestly. For modestly to reign in Seattle and throughout Washington, modesty. And we want to pray now also for sexual purity, for chastity to reign in Washington. Amen? Amen. So you holy women, you really are the key to this because you mirror the Virgin Mother. So they, would you lead us in this? We men will answer you for chastity, for purity, for modesty throughout Washington. Ladies, eternal Father, Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dear beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Men, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Amen. Now we do the small prayer three times, and let's offer the small prayer for all the teenagers of Washington to be protected from the vaccine, protected from God knows what else. Amen. 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 Protected from atheism, 
May God protect the teenagers of Washington and give them the sublime gift of holy Catholic faith. Amen. Amen. For all the teenagers, holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy and immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Jesus, 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 I trust in you. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. Saint John Paul. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Mary, Mother of Divine Mercy. Pray for us. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Pray for us. Have mercy on us. Most Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. In the nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're just getting started. Yeah. I'm getting the Holy Spirit goosebumps right now. My priest friend calls them dove bumps, not goosebumps. <laughs> now, would you say this prayer after me? It's called the Unity Prayer. If you don't know it, please, beloved, memorize it this weekend. It was given by our Lord and Our Lady to Elizabeth Kendallman in Hungary. I met with Cardinal Erdo, Peter Erdo in Budapest. The prayer is completely approved and imprimatur. And it has this stunning promise. I will, says the Lord, when you say this prayer, come down from heaven and I will blind and paralyze every evil spirit. That's the promise. I spoke to Cardinal Erdo personally with my group. He said they took more than 10 years to test it and approve it because of that stunning promise. Our Lord said further to Elizabeth that if the demon is blinded, then he cannot see you, of course. But he said, if he cannot see you, he cannot attack you. Amen. And so I was stunned and in exorcism in my home chapel when I said a prayer over somebody who was manifesting in a severe manner. We said this prayer I'm going to teach you now. She was released from the devil in about 60 seconds. Amen. I haven't seen that in 40 years. She was released as if Jesus was there, because he was. Amen? Amen. So if you need to know this prayer, and would you say this after me now, it's unbelievably beautiful, but don't let that fool you. Like Mary, it's beautiful, but like Mary, it's powerful. Yes. Like Mary, it wears combat boots. Yeah. Amen. 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 Don't be He's fooled. Our -star general. Amen. That's what Jesse says. Amen. Amen. Would you say this after me? I love this prayer. It's approved. It's effective. It works. And you need it. Yes. And Washington needs it. Yes. The Lord tells me that if everyone in Washington would say this prayer, just the Catholics, you would drive Satan off of this state. Yes. That's what he told me earlier today. If everyone here prayed it, throughout all the Catholics, you would drive Satan right out of Washington. Yes. Amen. 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 So would you say this now after me? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is called the Unity Prayer. My adorable Jesus, my adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our ears listen to the 
silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together. May our lips pray together. To gain mercy from the Eternal Father. To gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. Amen. How's that? Awesome. That's something? Yes. I don't know. Can you see what I'm seeing, beloved? I'm going to leave the dove bombs again. Yeah. A light just went around the whole room. There's a light around that was not there two minutes ago. A light. If you're spiritually sensitive, you'll see it too. Sooner or later, you'll see it too. God is faithful to His promises. Amen? Amen. And especially when they're in the Holy Bible or they're approved by Holy Mother Church, you can count on them. So we're going to use this prayer this weekend and take it home with you and teach it even to your children. Mm -hmm.